suddenly I was like in a store and suddenly it began my mobile to beep 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 and there was like RuPaul, I don't know, it was very very crazy what happened with Veneno. It was very weird because we created Veneno thinking that it was a small story and suddenly it became for everyone, not only in Spain but in the world. Suddenly I was like in a store and suddenly it began my mobile to beep 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 and there was like RuPaul, I don't know, it was very very crazy what happened with Veneno. I guess that it spoke to the people. Uh, suddenly it was the story that the people needed to to listen and I think we were in a in a moment of trans awareness that that is growing in a very good direction. So Veneno was like exactly at the moment in the place and he spoke to the zeitgeist. So I think that's what happened. In our in, in the ten shows we've seen, there's a lot of diversity, LGBT characters, people from all over the world. So yeah, I think I think that's that's progress. I think we are growing in a in a very good direction with the LGBT characters, and they are super necessary because I, I, I grow without one. In Spain, there was like a couple. Javi was one of them because he wasn't an. On a show as an actor, and he was one of the most important characters in Spain, LGBT. Uh, yeah, we wanted to create Veneno because of that. But yeah, we are, I think we are growing in a good direction. What we do is speak about stories that moves us. We try to, to portray the world we'd like to live in but we don't want to lecture anyone. We just want to tell stories we, we think that needs to be told from our perspective. When we write, we try to fulfill our expectations and to write something that we like. And us. then we try to add things that could be good and responsible. But at the end of the day, it's art and it's free. So some things you hit the mark and some things you don't. And sometimes you need to, to be responsible, but sometimes you don't. So is, there's no like a line or a, um, a guideline that you have to follow. We try to do our best and not only in front of the camera, with the people we hire, with the crew and the people that we have behind. For example, in Veneno, we had at least one trans person in each department of the show. That, that makes a very, 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 very big difference because made the show very real and authentic. But sometimes you need to write things that are not correct. So yeah, we go with the flow and, mm -hmm. and let the right speak to us and the characters. It's a show that follows uh, a family from the 80s to almost the present. It's a thriller, a uh, familiar thriller, we like to call it. Familiar it's, because it's in a family. Yeah, it's about the um, darkest secrets of a family. It's a thriller and there's a mystery, but there's a family drama, a family thriller, and you will find also original songs. There's music. You will find there's... pop and fun, funny moments, as in Veneno, but with the mysterious and dark touch of a thriller. It's so a, it will yeah. be like it has lots, what we lots think of about a thriller. Yeah, it's in a, Veneno, we did what we think about a biopic, and now we are trying to, to show what we think about the darker side.